We've discussed the enhanced website settings in the Safari browser, but in iOS 16, Apple allows you to share Safari settings across all your devices. In this video, I'll walk you through the features and help you set up, edit, and share website settings in Safari. Thanks for joining me for this week's Ellen's Tips for iOS. If you haven't subscribed to the channel or turned on that notification bell, do that now so you never miss when a new video is posted. Let's get started. Access website settings in Safari, you'll want to go ahead and open the settings app. Make sure that you're on the main settings page. Scroll down until you see Safari. Tap on Safari. And here you will have many options uh, to choose from. So let's walk through some of these important options. In Page Zoom, you'll have the option to set a zoom level for all of your websites. So if you have difficulty seeing the standard web page text and images, you can increase the zoom level. So to do that, you just tap on Page Zoom and then adjust the size according to your vision needs. Let's go ahead and tap on Safari in the upper left corner and come back into Request desktop website. And this allows you to access the computer version of a website. Sometimes I prefer this version because the mobile site doesn't always show you everything that you can access, but it can also uh, make the website look a little wonky, meaning that like the text size is too small. And some websites will not allow you to access the desktop version of a site, even when you have this toggle switch turned on. So you may want to think about that and maybe do it on a web page by web page basis inside of Safari. Let's tap on the back button in the upper left corner and now choose uh, Reader. And we've discussed Reader View in another video, and I'll put a link to that in the show notes. Reader View basically removes ads and distractions like uh, email pop ups and and it'll allow access to these across all your devices with this toggle switch turned on. As you can see, I just have it turned on at google.com. And so you can choose to do this on a per website basis while you're inside the Safari app. And I show you how to do that in that other video, or you could just toggle this all other websites, uh, toggle switch and turn that on and you'll get reader view across all of your websites. Let's go ahead and tap Safari in the upper left corner and below that you'll see camera, microphone, and location. And you can allow, deny, or force all websites to ask your permission before accessing the iPhone camera or microphone or your current location. And so if I just tap into this, you'll see that you have the options here. I always just leave mine set to ask because I want to know every time each of these things has been accessed. Once you have everything set up the way that you want it, you can toggle this switch on that says share across all of your devices. And then these particular settings will be shared across your iPhone and your iPad if you have one. But maybe you don't want to do that. Maybe you do want to do these on an individual basis. To do that, if I just swipe out of the settings app and come into Safari, and if I tap on the double A down here in the lower left corner, you'll see that I have an option for all of those uh, settings. I can tap into the website settings. And when I do, I can request the desktop website of this particular uh, website. I can you know, change the camera. I can do all of these things. I can use Reader automatically. And so you can access all of these settings from directly inside of your Safari browser. Let me tap on done and come back into the double A's, but there are the options that you have once you come into Safari. You'll have these same options available to you on your iPad. You'll just go into 
uh, the settings app and uh, scroll down and tap on Safari and the same settings will be available there so you can set it up on your iPad as well and you can also go into Safari on your website tap on the double A's and you will have access to the settings that you're seeing here as well. Once you have toggled on the switch that says share across uh, your devices, you know, and your website settings are shared, one thing I'll remind you is, is that both of those devices need to be signed in to the same iCloud Apple ID. That's it. Now you can enable or turn off the website syncing settings across all your devices and customize specific settings. I hope you found this video useful. If you have questions or comments, put them in the comments section and let me know if I can do a specific video to answer your questions. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.